Hello, Cancerians. Welcome to your reading. Welcome back. I'm sending you so much loving light, Cancer. Let's do a reading for you. I feel guided to do this reading. So let's uh, let's begin. Okay, this just fell out of this deck. It's not part of this deck, but it says here, reveal. I want to tell you the truth. So I feel like that's a message here for you. Could be a Leo that wants to tell you the truth or Scorpio. Can I just say what I'm channeling with these two cards? <laughs> of course I can, right? Um, this is an ego death for somebody. It is an ego death for an energy. My dog just confirmed two of wands. Someone's choosing here. I don't know if this person's choosing you or choosing to travel. There's two paths here, but somebody's choosing a path. Um, it's an ego death, okay? There's a reveal. Let's shuffle this deck. I mean, meaning, let's, uh, <laughs> yeah, look, I just saw the two of pentacles and the queen of cups. So it's about someone's choosing you. I don't know what this means for you, but, and there's a reveal, confession coming through. Okay. That is a different intro. Different energy, new energy. Okay, Cancer, someone rising in Venus. I'm seeing masculine, masculine, divine masculine, yang energy, fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Pisces. Gaining new perspective, looking at the picture differently. There's a standstill. Um, contemplating contemplating a new beginning or taking action an energy for cancer someone rising in venus yeah masculine energy yang energy aries doesn't have to be an aries or a gemini but this is a soulmate this is a soulmate you share a soul tie to this person it's also that message about choosing and again i, I don't mean to refer to people as as if that they need to be chosen no one no one needs to be chosen but the lovers could be about a choice between lovers there's a soul union it's a soul tie connection with this energy could be a virgo aries gemini capricorn these are all major arcanas what is going on so there's the ego death that's taking place this person could have been operating out of their shadow Meaning addictions, codependencies, obsessions even. Two of Wands, the Two of Wands, yeah, making a choice, making a decision, deciding on a on a different path. I feel like there's somebody that's deciding on a different path. Letting go with the death energy of other people. There could be gossiping going on about someone making a decision to move away. I don't know what this means. Okay. You tell me in the comments, okay, what this means for you. Let's clarify. Wow. There's an ego death. That is what I channel. There's um I don't I don't know if somebody here could have been very prideful, arrogant, uh controlling even with this emperor. This is a person that sits in a position of authority, could be a father figure, uh business owner. This is somebody who's wise, mature, structured. This person there's this there's a need here to conquer something um themselves maybe you know the hermit and the emperor uh, to me I, I see it as the same same energy same energy the emperor that retrieves in in search of higher guidance okay and wisdom and they find it this is somebody who's seeking the truth and they find it there we go Someone has their eye on you. You know, I'm going to say this because it's it's showing the Page of Swords with the Knight of Pentacles. Something that could have taken a long time here could have been moving slowly. There could have been a delay here. Just saw the Page of Swords. Let's clarify these energies for you. Cancer, I am sending you so much love and light. What is this about? Emotional expression. A reveal. Didn't I just say reveal? Someone's coming in to reveal. The confess the unveiling this person may come forward with flowers i know knight of cups is a message what is this uh emperor who's this emperor who is this emperor divine masculine for cancer 
this is somebody who's assertive doesn't have to be an aries ten of cups you you're coming together here with this person fulfillment happiness a happy home this is this could be reconciliation look at the rainbow in this card two of you may have children the ten of cups is about um a new cycle coming together this is what this person's thinking about or gaining new perception about because i said you know seeking retrieving to seek the truth that is that is the hermit the death energy is about a metamorphosis a transformation it is about a change okay this death energy is about changes endings new beginnings now something is ending for somebody okay there is an ending for somebody this may be for you you've ended a karmic cycle here with a virgo or a capricorn scorpio i mean we have we have um major arcana sin there's a very powerful uh shift that's taking place at this time within a connection there's a powerful i'm going to repeat that again there's a powerful shift that is taking place within a connection within a connection four of wands twin flame energy union celebration coming together balance don't tell me no cancer clarify this lovers for cancer gemini energy here's the sun and the lovers the sun is in the death energy so it's a it, just you know i keep i keep repeating myself because i see it in the readings you know i was going to say you know it's a cycle that you're beginning is a new cycle it sure is the ace of pentacles doors being open for you a new pathway i don't know where i just channeled this could be the key to a home but you know again if you notice that the, the, this is yang energy masculine energy offering uh this this pentacle to you this could be a proposal this could be a proposal let's move in together ten of cups is all your cups filled happiness joy celebration is what i'm seeing here four of wands ace of pentacles and we have the knight of pentacles moving slowly but sure to arrive this is a dependable offer it is a blessing with the ace of pentacles we have the five of wands and the four of pentacles someone might have been holding back because of conflict because of other people some of you might have been holding back because of a turmoil that you've endured from the past that you might have been still holding on to this kept you trapped okay this kept you trapped mentally i'm going to place this back five of wands and the four of pentacles this could have affected also your finances cancer this conflict and strife jealousy competition that you had could have been with the fire sign king of wands we have king of wands and queen of wands there's a new romantic cycle here beginning for you this knight of cups i feel like it's a new romantic cycle between lovers give me one more energy some of you were tied to a situation yeah it's this king of wands aries leo sagittarius that you have come out of um that you're coming out of you you've ended you've ended this vicious cycle here with somebody i don't know where i'm getting very strong virgo capo i mean there the signs are here this fire energy aries leo sagittarius this is a new person i feel like there's a new connection happening between soulmates between counterparts that there's a mountain in between these two energies that this is what somebody could be overcoming what is this hermit what is this hermit here for cancer which I feel like is this masculine energy that has retrieved or seeking wisdom or seeking the truth. Yeah, emotions, hidden emotions, going. I feel like this person is um, gaining awareness. There could be fears that somebody could be confronting at this time, an illusion. This person could have been could have been elusive at some point you know the sun is at the bottom of the deck and the sun and the moon are both yin and yang energy so the moon is cancer the sun is leo masculine feminine energy so is that what this person is contemplating this um connection with you something may be also exposed okay and and i channeled emotions there's going to be a something to do with you know with the sun and the moon come together you know it's an eclipse right so it's like it's like things are being now illuminated what was once hidden or concealed 
it's now being illuminated for this energy. Gosh, it took me a moment to get there, but yeah, I might have taken this person a long time to get here. Knight of Pentacles. Might have taken somebody a long time to come into the sense of realization about an addiction they had or some sort of, um, you know, this person could have been hiding behind behind the material, the material world, obsessed with the material. Three of Wands. The future looks bright for you. Okay, I will say that. Three of Wands is you looking ahead towards the future. The future does look bright for you and there's an energy masculine that's thinking about you. Okay, the moon is your ruler, Cancer. This person's thinking about you. So finally, what was hidden, what was kept hidden in the dark, this person could have a Pisces moon, Virgo with a Pisces moon. What was once hidden and concealed is now being exposed with the sun. Okay, this could be a Virgo, Leo cusp. Clarify this devil energy, Saturn energy for Cancer, Capricorn. There's a soul tie connection. If you notice, we have the lovers in, in both the devil and the lovers. You know, there's a soul, soul tie connection. I spoke about eclipse, eclipses, okay? The two of Pentacles is how I'm seeing this. An eclipse come. I don't know what the, this is uh, trying to say. You know, eclipses exposed. You know, they, they expose things. I, I feel like um, a choice might have been made here about codependency or someone juggling too many things you know and, and heartbreak of course you know three of source third party energy juggling another you and somebody else or another person um three of source is heartbreak juggling okay clip something something it says being exposed here there's there's balance and recovery healing with this temperance if you notice this two of pentacles so somebody that could have felt imbalanced um and heartbroken Okay, this is being healed. There's a resolution, transmutation of this energy. Yeah, because there's there's a uh, cutting of ties. I'm, I'm getting up and I'm leaving and I'm saying farewell to the past. Okay, that is what I see here. A lot of you are not allowing the past to continue to hold you back. That is what the devil does, okay? You're moving on with the Six of Swords from this energy. There's chains between something, you know, and I've been channeling this message of two energies. There's two energies. Okay. The two of pentacles is a choice between lovers. You know, it may not be that someone's choosing you and someone else. You may be the person here that needs to choose between lovers. Okay. You may be choosing here between the two of pentacles. Between an energy that kept you in some sort of confinement, mental confinement emotional as well i'm going to clarify this masculine you know because i feel like this could be some it's two people here there's two energies clarify this devil very strong masculine energy i will say that okay and i know you guys know it's not gender specific but i have this king of wands this uh emperor divine masculine the hermit so and i do i do see some of you in departure meaning there's disappointment here and there's heartache and loss okay but there's there's a completion this is the ten of swords okay the death energy i'm clarifying this devil energy there's been a completion here to this karmic situation for most of you okay ten of swords yeah you overcame you prevailed you're in your power you have regained your confidence back that is a strength energy Okay, some of you may have Leo. I, I channeled something about an ego death. Okay, this masculine is receiving an ego death. Okay, operating out of their shadow. Clarify this devil energy. I don't know why I'm taking so long. I'm almost, I'm almost afraid to clarify this devil, but the Ten of Swords is about this karmic completion. It is about this karmic completion. Give me one more energy. King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The Ace of Pentacles, masculine energy. Someone that, again, hiding behind it to the material. I see it now. King of Swords is an energy who, who uses discernment, analytical, highly intelligent. This person may have a Capricorn, Venus. That is who's, that is who's clarifying this devil energy and you know it's it's interesting because this king of swords has been showing in all of the readings recent very strong masculine king of swords king of wands again a choice between lovers cancer you may be, be choosing here between two two different energies okay 
just going to say that. There's a coming together here with one of them. Seven of Pentacles, you've waited for this. So this person here is waiting. Seven of Pentacles. For, <laughs> yeah, somebody's waiting to invest in this brand new start with you. Um, the seeds you've planted, meaning you've waited. You've been patient here. Now, the sun, this new start is happening. You've been resilient. Seeing the Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. Clarify this death energy. The death rebirth of a situation as well, okay? Yeah, it's a death. It's a demeaning. It's an, it's an ending, the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is showing, yeah, judgment. Someone has made a judgment here to end a situation. Could be this King of Swords, could be you. The judgment is the past. The judgment could also speak about forgiveness. I just finished channeling. It's a death rebirth. Okay, so something here is being resurrected from the past. Okay, we'll say that. Somebody you could have had a traumatic ending with. Someone whom you, you had to walk away or turn your back. Turn your back to is coming back. Two of Cups for a victory to offer you this pinnacle. Um, some time has passed. It's had, I feel like there's time that somebody needed time here in order to recover. You might have been getting over a love connection when you, you know, I feel like there's there's been wrong timing or there, there might have been the wrong timing and you had to walk away from somebody. This is now being resurrected or there's something here about the past. There's a rebirth here with this death energy. Some sort of rebirth. I want to get an energy for this masculine ten of swords. It's at the bottom of this deck. So either, either this person here they indeed has turned their back here on something that they are completing and returning. There's something about a rebirth. Ten of Swords, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify this Emperor masculine energy. I see this person either wanting to build on a foundation with you. Three of Pentacles. You might have worked with this person. The two of you work together. Clarify this Emperor. You may meet this person at work. Yeah, I'm seeing the Three of Pentacles. Give me an energy for this Emperor. For Cancer. Very strong Leo energy. This is somebody new. This is somebody new, but then the sun is in the death, so it could be this rebirth. This person is revealing a truth. This, there's a new beginning here. There's happiness with this person. The wheel of fortune is somebody that's destined for you. I just almost had a heart attack. I thought that the, this was not recording. <laughs> and I thought, oh, what a great reading. Um, the sun and the wheel of fortune is about divine intervention. The Wheel of Fortune is Sagittarius, Taurus, Scorpio. All the signs are here. I just, I feel like there's a big shift that is happening. It's the next big cycle for you. I feel like this is about expansion. It's expansive. What I wanted to you, expansive. King of Wands. You're going to have a choice here between lovers to make. Yes, you are. Clarify this lover's energy. Eight of Wands. There could have been a delay here with this person. Eight of Wands is communication. I'm not going to read this card in the reverse. I don't know if it was in the reverse or not. That confuses me. But Eight of Wands is communication. It's about a manifestation, meaning fast speed of moving. Things coming in very quickly. A new cycle with the world. Could be travels also with this Eight of Wands. So communication. Clarify this hermit for cancer. This person's in solitude. This person is in realization that... They could have deceived, um, they deceived you, they lied. This is somebody who doesn't tell the truth. And, you know, it's, it's interesting because I channel the hermit seeking the truth. We have deception here, which is dishonesty. And the devil energy. Yeah, somebody feels foolish, like they made a mistake, that they might have been too impulsive. Seven of Swords. Clarify this King, King of Swords. Every time I look at this King of Swords, I see the Ace of Pentacles with the Chariot. So I feel like this is an energy that it that feels determined here to conquer or come in come in um, unexpected. Someone's coming in unexpectedly. I the, the the tower is about a life change. Look at this life change here, the wheel of fortune. So number ten is significant. The three of swords. Look at this life change. Three of swords and the queen of wands. This king of swords has, has king of swords has ended with another person. Three of Swords is third party energy. Look at this. Six of Swords, yeah, moving on. This could have been a um this could have been a spouse. This person's moving on. Somebody is moving on. Six of Swords. This is the life change that's taking place. 
Um, what was once concealed has been exposed. I keep channeling that energy. It may just be to this energy. What was once concealed for them could be as simple as emotions, hidden emotions that someone could have been trying to block. Yeah, holding on. Four of Pentacles. Holding on to their emotions. I'm going to get a monology because we do have this full moon in Capricorn on the 21st. Happening on the 21st. Give me an energy from this deck for Cancer. Communication. I was just going to say there is communication. Gemini energy. Communication is key. Adjustments are required. Making changes and taking a time here to reflect. Or think about something. Take, take time to breathe out. It feels like the four swords for me. Adjustments are required. So moving things around, making adjustments, making necessary changes. Somebody already knows what they need to do. Okay, conclusions are within. This person already knows what they need to do. Which is to get in their car and leave. Or move on, move on from something else. Gather the courage to do so. And I channel that message. Is the, the, the death... Of someone's ego. Okay. A win-win outcome is forecast. For you. Libra energy. Confidence is key to your success. I'm going to get some of these for you. Clinging, spying, obsessing, holding on. That could be the four of pinnacles. Somebody that has been holding on to this connection. Um, somebody that has been. Somebody that's destined in your life. Okay. Who's apprehensive, has been apprehensive and cautious. Give me an energy for this reading. Confusion, uncertain, unclear. Emotional storm, turmoil, unstable. Divine masculine. So this masculine energy is undergoing an emotional storm. Um, I do see it here. This hermit is about, could be about a spiritual awakening, meaning a metamorphosis, a dark night of the soul. Somebody could be going through a dark night of the soul, this yang energy. Okay, because somebody's shadows are being exposed. That is the message here. Someone's shadows have been exposed. Um, this person whom you sh you've shared some sort of bond here, intimate. Could be, could have been a, even a trauma bond. I don't mean to offend anybody. There's family and someone someone feels that or maybe uncertain or confused because of family. We have a, a feminine energy here who's graceful, charming, kind hearted. Someone may view you um, in this in this light. I want to say in this light, what is this family here? Uh, fertility, parenthood or maybe this person wants to build a family with you. This twin flame was going in look this is the hermit energy awareness deaths going in um i channel dark night of the soul we have here only you oh wow someone's coming in with a lot of obsession now okay um we have peace here it's not just about peace but balance and i spoke about spoke about an energy feeling in balance you know, because this person is undergoing a spiritual transformation. This emotional storm is about a spiritual transformation. And look, this twin flame energy says reflection. It does say reflection. Now we have only you in marriage. Devoted, you know, attached. Someone feels attached. I spoke about attachments and commitment. Marriage, commitment. And I, someone may, you know, the Ten of Cups is about moving in together, uh, solidifying a union. I don't typically use that term solidifying. So someone may want to solidify here something with you. This person that might have been elusive for some time or caught under a web of lies. I don't know. This name's okay. Karma. <laughs> Karma. Cause and effect. Consequences for this deception. Don't tell me now. Let's get some of these to end the reading. Give me an advice for cancer. Caught in this web of lies. That's so interesting. That is why somebody could have been confused. Um, there's the, the emotional storm that they're in right now. Um, you know, I did one of the readings that I did for cancer at the end. It says I'm on a, it said that this, this energy clearly stating uh, that I'm not available. So this is why someone may not be available. I do see somebody that's destined here for you. 
who's retreating. Look at this addiction here as I'm speaking about this energy. Who's retreating? Someone may be in recovery. An addiction is affecting this relationship. That obviously is not going to resonate for everybody. This is why there's time apart. Some distance will help to bring clarity. So there, there, this may be the reason why somebody's not available. The advice for you is, is that I cl clearly there's somebody that has been operating out of their shadow self. Hiding behind an addiction or money. But, you know, they're destined. There's something here unfinished. Meaning the part of your destiny that is a wheel of fortune. This is a destined a destined partnership between you and this person who's healing. See, this is why they're unavailable. This person is unable to give you what you deserve maybe at this time, or perhaps they felt like they were not able to give you what you needed. I channel something about wrong timing between the two of you. Look, it's about this decision in a lesson. A lesson about passion could be awakening. Some Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. Did I, did I channel this? Second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. Leaning on their support or maybe perhaps seeking support, you know, like professional support. That, that's what I mean. So take the message how it resonates, Cancer. I'm going to leave the reading here. Let me know if this resonated with you, Cancer. Thank you for liking and subscribing to the channel. Um, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for your support. I'll be back soon. Until next reading, namaste.